Kate Middleton and Prince William, bombshell breakup, brutal phone calls, another crush, and a sexy reunion A new royal book focuses on the early romance of the Prince and Princess of Wales. And they apparently had some difficult moments before getting engaged 13 years after the fairy tale wedding of the Prince and Princess of Wales. After marrying in April 2011, the couple seems overjoyed and have three children together. Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. A new book has revealed secrets from their troubled marriage. It is known that their romance began when both were studying at the University of St. Andrews. But the new book about the royals delves deeper into the more difficult moments of their relationship and what led to their brief breakup in 2007 before they rekindled their romance at a very revealing party that eventually led to their engagement in 2010. In Catherine, Princess of Wales, a biography, serialized in the Daily Mail, author Robert Jobson chronicles the beginning of their relationship at university. The difficult times after graduation, Kate's heartbreak and William's seduction. Secret first meeting as widely reported, Kate first caught her future husband's eye when she appeared in a daring see-through dress at a university charity fashion show after they both went to the same university. Andrews, Jobson writes that they have actually known each other for a long time, while many believe they first met at Street. The two first met when William was still at Eton and Kate was attending Marlborough College. A source close to the Middleton family told him, there was a lot of socializing going on at the time, between students from both schools, and they knew each other. When they first entered university, William seemed to get along well with classmate Carly Massey Birch, while Kate was dating fourth year law student Rupert Finch. The two had different romantic interests. However, after the fashion show, William and Kate became a couple, sharing a dormitory for their second and third years and spending lazy weekends at places like Highgrove and Balmoral. The Queen attended the closing ceremony and met Kate's parents for the first time. They both graduated in 2005. Wady Katie after her studies, Kate worked as a part-time buyer for retailer Jigsaw, while William attended Sandhurst Military Academy. Marriage speculation reached a fever pitch, and with no engagement in sight, Kate was cruelly dubbed Waity Katie. However, the book claims that Kate's frequent Caribbean vacations on the island of Mystique raised some eyebrows among the royal family. The author claims that Jigsaw's bosses allowed Kate to use a luxury villa on the island for romantic private getaways with the prince. Not exactly a perk most employees enjoy. A heartbreaking phone call however, by the end of 2006, there was still no sign of a proposal. And in January 2007, just before Kate's birthday, Prince William called her with a heartbreaking message of separation, according to the book. He also cancelled a New Year's Eve date with the Middletons and the pair reportedly went their separate ways after an emotional 30-minute phone call. In fact, the couple have spoken about their breakups before in interviews about their engagement. Kate admitted, you learn things about yourself that you may not have realized. I think when you're younger, love is really draining. I didn't see it that way at the time, but I was so grateful for this time for myself. William said, we were both very young. We were both discovering ourselves and discovering that we were different characters. We were both trying to find our own way and we were growing up, so just having a little bit of space changed us for the better. Brutal reaction after the breakup, they both threw themselves into the party scene.
according to the book, Prince William was heard telling friends, I'm bored during a drunken night at the London nightclub Mahiki. Meanwhile, Kate was also out with her sister Pippa. The author writes that William soon returned to the army and holed up in his barracks, while Kate continued to live the single life. Wearing ever more daring outfits, even attracting the attention of shipping heir Sir Henry Lopner, which made William suspect that the separation had woken her up. Naughty party but it seems they didn't have to wait long to rekindle their romance. Stand up and make him want her back. And it was all thanks to mutual friend and former Grand National winning jockey Sam Whaley Cohen. The new book describes how he invited the pair to a fing party, a naughty costume party where Kate was dressed as a nurse, that again caught William's attention. The author writes, she arrived disguised as a nurse and William made a beeline for her. They then spent the first part of the night engrossed in conversation before heading to the dance floor where they finally shared a kiss. When friends joked about renting a room, they ran off together. The pair then appeared to keep their relationship secret. But their secret of being together again was exposed when Kate was spotted a few rows behind Prince William at a charity pop concert marking the 10th anniversary of the death of the late Princess Diana. Carol's routine Kate's sister Pippa, who wears the ring on her finger, reportedly organized a private bachelorette party at a friend's house with a minimal guest list. And according to the book, Kate nailed it by wearing a skin-tight bodysuit and doing a perfect imitation of pop star Cheryl's hit fight for this love. The author writes that when William later met Cheryl at the Diamond Jubilee concert, he told her, 